Okay, a few weeks ago, I was like pretty okay with it. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm actually everything. I'm like a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rainbow. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome back to another video podcast. This is Misa. And this is Yuka. And welcome to the Misa Yuka, Yuka podcast. podcast. We are two sisters who were born in Japan, raised in the States, and on the, and we are currently living in Tokyo. On this podcast, we talk about random things that we relate to each week, and we hope you relate to as, as well. well. So what is today's topic, Yuka? How to prioritize yourself. Yes, how to... Pri- or prioritization. Yeah, how, or yeah, how to prioritize things in your life. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, I picked this topic because, like, I've been having a really hard time prioritizing mm-hmm. all the things that I'm juggling. And the juggling part, I think that comes from school. <laughs> it comes from school? Yeah, it comes from, like, our education, I think. Right? Don't you think so? Because, like... um when because we because um we went to like school in the states and in order to get into college you have to be a well-rounded person right you can't just be doing one thing you have to be this like all-star in like Mm -hmm. different aspects of academics not or academics music you have to be volunteering right doing everything sports and you have to be like pretty decent at a lot of the things right right and so, like, I have this, like, tendency to juggle a lot of things at mm-hmm. the same time. And I count it, and I think I juggle, like, five things at a time. Yeah. Like, even in college, I was, like, juggling, like, not just, like, just, okay, school itself, right? Mm-hmm. And um, volunteering. Yeah. A part-time job. Mm-hmm. Dance. Mm-hmm. And like more volunteering right (laughs) so it's like five i know yeah that's a lot right that's a lot and you have to like you have to live (laughs) you have to like laundry and you have to like cook and stuff you have to eat right but you didn't do that during high school not during high school but like in college right right in college you know so like i feel like and then it's like deemed very good that like you know like amazing Mm -hmm. that when you are doing a lot of things and when you are a well-rounded student right Mm -hmm. but I feel like I don't know if that is like very important after like academics like after school right because I feel like you now need to kind of like be an expert at one thing right so I, I don't think it's important. I think what school teaches you is how mm-hmm. to juggle things and how to handle stress while you're juggling. Mm-hmm. And how do you say, um, nobody's <laughs> use? <laughs> like, um, grit. Yeah, grit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, the, I think those, that's what it's for. Yeah. And then once you get out of college mm-hmm. or like academics, you have to like kind of like kind of like I don't know have like a list of all the things you want to do but you Mm -hmm. can't do them so you have to minus things and you kind of like scrape them off yeah yeah cut them yeah so that is what we're gonna do today with Misa's life (laughs) Misa's life because Misa so so I don't really like tell this like online that much but like outside of this all this like content creation thing that I'm like trying to grow um I also am a dance teacher so I like teach dance and I choreograph dance um for kids mm-hmm. and like that's okay that's been my dream like that's also been one right. of my dreams like I've wanted to be a dance teacher mm-hmm. um since like high school and like I wanted to I danced all through college and I minored in dance too right yeah and like my our mom like made like a dance team while we were like like, really young, mm-hmm. and we grew up in that dance, like, cheerleading team all right. through high school, right? right, up until high school, right, and that still exists to, to this day, mm-hmm. so that's, like, 20 years of, like, existence of that, like, dance team, so, like, dance and, like, choreography and stuff has always been a part of my life, right, and I, like, w- I want to keep it, 
you know? So that's why I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I'm doing outside of content creation. And then I also teach English Mm -hmm. because that's, that comes like very naturally to me. Okay. Yeah. Like since coming to Japan, they're like, oh, Misa, can you teach English to me? Mm -hmm. And I've been like teaching English to like um, kids from like pre, uh, not, not, yeah, preschool Mm -hmm. to up until like, I don't know, adults. Mm Mm-hmm. And I'm that that's like breathing for me, you know? That's so funny how you say that because if people ask me that, I'll be like, yeah, I don't speak that way. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not really good at it, so you should ask Misa. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, like, okay, so, like, that, no, like, I've been teaching English like, ever since I came to Japan. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. while working a nine to five, too. Right. And I still do that to this day because I still have students and, like, they yeah. never quit. <laughs> but, wait, but you know how I did that, too, where I was working a 9 to 5 and also started, like, tutoring kids? Yeah, but that's, like, through a different company. It was through a company. Yeah. But I was like, this is not worth it. Like, I mean, like, uh, teaching was worth it, but, you know, the time and the effort spending, like, that balance wasn't really worth it. So it was kind of, like, hard for me. So I kind of just, like, quit yeah, but like, you were able to do that because like you you like you weren't doing it like as Yuka. You were doing it as Yuka with like a company and then they're like the customers. Right. right. Mine's like me and the customers. Right. You're a C2C. Yeah, I'm a C2C. <laughs> and yeah. they just like, you know, I just like I don't know, they just like come for me because they want to learn from right. me. Right. Yeah. And I, I've been, like, continuing that mm-hmm. for a long time. Right? right. So I have that. Right? Yeah. And I also do some, like, a lot of, like, volunteering activities outside. Um, and I have this. Yeah. Right? So I have, like, four different things mm-hmm. that I juggle on top of living. <laughs> <laughs> like, living, like, together in Tokyo. Right. right? Right. And, like, paying for rent and, like, all the adult stuff. Right. So yeah, right. that's all the things that I'm like juggling and like nowadays it's like really hard for me to like actually see like okay what do I actually need to prioritize mm-hmm. because like um so I used to work so I'm like talking so much because okay, it's, okay. it's my therapy session. <laughs> <That's right there. laughs> I've never had like I've never heard of a therapy session where like the, the therapist, the client, yeah, the therapist or no, the client just keeps talking and talking, <laughs> and the therapist just keeps listening and listening. <laughs> so I have to like get everything up there. Okay. okay. So what was I talking about? Um. Oh yeah. So I've never like so I've been like juggling all of this right, and so before I started all this content thing right. Um, I quit my job, I quit my nine to five job Okay. without like really like a backup plan. Mm-hmm. Cause I just, I, I, I was like working in that company for four years. Mm-hmm. I started when I was like 21. So I quit when I was like 25. Right. Right. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I've like done what society wants me to do. <laughs> now it's my time to live, you know? Right. So, okay. so that's how I started. And then, um, mm-hmm. a couple of months after I quit my job, I already had like that dance job lined up. Mm-hmm. And then, so I, um, and then I started making YouTube videos because mm-hmm. I've always wanted to do that. Mm-hmm. Right? I was like, I want to do YouTube. I want to be like those YouTubers and I want to mm-hmm. be friends with them. Mm-hmm. And I want to collaborate right. with other content creators. Right. Um, and so I started all of that. And then I was doing like TikTok and different things. And then now my content is mainly for like Japanese people, like doing English stuff. And like you sometimes come on too. Right. right. And that's how I kind of like grew it to um, like, ni- yeah, like around 90K or something. Mm-hmm. Pretty good on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. Um, for a Japanese audience. So I've been doing that. But I was like, and then now I have like different business stuff. Right. Um, which is kind of cool, like to start. But at the same time, I have like an English business kind of. Now. Right. And then I have like other stuff mm-hmm. or like the dance stuff. Mm-hmm. So everything everything is like growing on its so <laughs> own. If you like if you if you understand yeah. what I mean. Yeah. It's like, everything is like growing on mm-hmm. its own. But I feel like now I need to prioritize what is right. really important and what will like 
get my ball like rolling. Okay. You know, like what will get the pin spinning? Is、mm-hmm. that what you call it? Okay. Yeah. I feel like right now I'm just like like my energy is like out to like、mm-hmm. everything, right? Right. And my goal is like everything now. So what makes you most excited? Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like I'm like really trying <laughs> to understand that. Like that is a really good question. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like a lot of things make me really excited, but, but like making dances also make me excited too. But it's like, but excited as in like I'm so glad I'm alive right now. Hmm. You can talk about that. You can think about that in like the present, and also the f- think about it in the future. Past.、Oh. No, the future tense.、Oh. Like what will what will my present self be proud of in the future? Right. Like what? What is this like? Like what is your dream, kind of? What is like this person you want to be?、Mm-hmm. Is I think that's where you have to like think from. Right. So what do you want to be? Like okay, so that's like a <laughs> okay. Before I really wanted to be a YouTuber,、uh-huh. and I like still do YouTube, and like、mm-hmm. that's what I want to grow. But like every time I would like want to like post something,、mm-hmm. right? I would get like anxiety <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like okay. My audience is Japanese. They love hear. They love to hear me speak in English, right? <laughs> so I'm like, do I speak in Japanese or English, like, in order、yeah. to grow my my channel? And that would give me so much anxiety, right? Yeah. And I was like, wait, I'm not really like. And then、uh, I'm not really like the other Japanese YouTubers,、mm-hmm. right? And I'm also not really like American YouTubers.、Mm-hmm. I'm just me. Mm-hmm. And it's like okay, like it's,、um, it's like it was like difficult to like、mm-hmm. find and because like when you start on YouTube, you have to be like, oh, what is your audience? Right. What is your like? Who are you like making videos for? You know.、Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I I didn't really know that.、Mm-hmm. And so every time I would like make YouTube videos, like I would be like, okay, what am I gonna make next? Right.、Mm-hmm. But like every time I edit and stuff, like and post something, that would make my world so happy. Okay. Yeah. And then people will be like, "Oh, I saw your video," even though it has like maybe two hundred views or something. Like, "Oh, cool!" Like that would make、mm-hmm. me so happy, right?、Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess like that. So I guess like even if you have anxiety, like if you get over that part, because your anxiety isn't about like being <laughs> on on the screen. Yeah, it's about、true. like which language <laughs> that I speak in. So if、yeah. you get over that, you'll like. Your world will be spinning with、yeah. joy every、yeah. time you post. Yes, but okay. Now there comes like the next like anxiety part, like this wall, right?、Um, like since I'm like a dance teacher too,、mm-hmm. and I'm doing YouTube as well,、mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, what am I? Like, okay, this is like another topic of identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> We've been we've been experiencing identity crisis since since, 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 since like, day one. <laughs> day living, since day one, living. Am I Japanese or am I American? American? <laughs> <laughs> like this is like another level of identity crisis, then. Right. This is let's yeah. Okay. Like of being、mm-hmm. something because like I feel like society wants us to be something, right? Yeah. I mean, no, not society. You want to be something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to leave a mark in this world, yeah.、Right? And then, but like when you have like so many like passions and stuff,、mm-hmm. it's like really hard to like kind of like see like what is my priority, you know? Right. But like lately, okay, a few weeks ago, I was like pretty okay with it. I was、mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm actually everything. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> I'm like a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the different colors, you know? Yeah. So it's like okay with it, but like like sometimes I'm not okay with it. I'm like <laughs> I'm a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's so funny. I'm a, I'm a rainbow. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> it really makes a difference. Yeah. So it's like I feel like I I don't actually have an answer to this prioritization、mm-hmm. thing. If you do, I do. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Like maybe you can be my personal therapist. <laughs> I think you can. You should just like ask around people、mm-hmm. because I feel like 
like trying to prioritize it like yourself you're kind of like you know in the zone and Mm -hmm. you can't really like take things apart but like if you just ask someone who's not really attached to it, uh-huh. they'll be like, oh, yeah, you don't need that. You should <laughs> prioritize this because this is what you want to be and this is what makes you happy. Uh huh. You know, so I think what you need to do is... <laughs> Everyone listen. Is, well, you need you need a main job, right? Are you taking notes? You yeah, need a main, main job, job, right? Uh-huh. The one that brings you income. Right. So you are keeping your English... Right. Mm-hmm. And then now you need on top of that, you need something that's like a part, like Google, like a side job part time mm-hmm. because just English will not make you fully happy. Mm-hmm. Right. Especially because you can juggle things. Yeah. So you need something to keep yourself extra busy, which is the fun job that doesn't f- sound like, you know, too much, too work. much work. And that is, um, I think first is YouTube for you. Yeah, I think so too. You know, it's YouTube. And YouTube is pretty big. It's as, probably is as big as your main job. So yeah, that's like the two things you will be juggling. And, and, but like on your part, usually it's just these two things (laughs) that you should be rolling. But on your part, you have like a third dream or something. (laughs) And the third dream is, you know, dance, teaching dance or whatever. So you should keep that part-time job, but you should only have take take on like one class. Yeah, or something like that. Because right now I go like two or three times a week. Yeah, Miso is like just so crazy. I'm going to be choreographing four dances <laughs> next next uh, season, and I'm just like, you said you were gonna do YouTube. It's like, yeah, but I I'm a rainbow. <laughs> I can do it all. <laughs> yeah. So I've been like talking, I've been uh, listening to a lot of podcasts mm-hmm. and there's this really interesting thing that Mel Robbins was talking about, our coach, mm-hmm. our life coach. Um, and she says like that she was talking about this thing about false confidence. Mm. This like false confidence that you have in yourself mm-hmm. that you believe you can do, mm-hmm. but you can't do, mm-hmm. you know? And I feel like I have that. I definitely have this thing. Is it about, like, good to have it? or is Oh, it- it's not good to have it. Like, um, if oh. you think, like, okay, I'll, I can wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But you're you're sleeping at literally 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, you're only going to get four hours of sleep. And you're probably not going to be waking up at 6 a.m. Right. Right? But then if you... I had that false confidence last night. And I could... I slept at 2 a.m. I was like, I'm going to be waking up at 6 a.m. I didn't even hear. <laughs> I didn't even hear the alarm clock or the snooze button, you know? Mm-hmm. So I feel like I, um, like when it comes to like prioritizing, like, like to like time management as well, it's a, you have this thing about like false confidence. Yeah. And so, I am full of false confidence. Yeah, so what you have to do now is you have your main job and you have your YouTube job and you have your little part-time dance job, right? Mm-hmm. You put all of that in your calendar and mm-hmm. see um, where you can all, look, where you can minus things from there, too. Yeah, like scrap it. Yeah. Yeah, like or scratch it. Because you need to live, too. Yeah, I need to, like, right now I feel like I'm fully working yeah this room needs to be clean too you know it's pretty clean <laughs> it it needs to be cleaner <laughs> really it's well, actually pretty clean i know but anyways um so yeah and you know i was watching the movie 22 or soul oh soul yeah soul and um, even though we can be rush running towards our future and trying to become like this person that we want to be in the future and like, you know, cat trying to catch our dreams, mm-hmm. if you're not living within the moments, once you reach the top, you're going to be like, this is it. Right. You know? No, that's how I feel too. But, but I enjoy doing all of this, you know? I know. I think. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You're, you're like sometimes, dead on some, the bed. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I like to, I think I like to fully <laughs> exert my energy. It's, it's literally crazy. You're like, but I can go, I have to get 
get to this tutor session. <laughs> you're like, you're like, open the door and then you rush to your room. And then you're like, I'm okay. <laughs> You literally like, open the door. I don't outside. do that anymore. Uh, um, yeah. And then you're like, <laughs> and after you finish like the session, I was like, oh, she's done. I can talk to her. You're like, it's time for the next one. <laughs> it's like 11 p.m. Time for the next one. Yeah, That's for a so different crazy. meeting. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. But, I mean, I guess, like, I mean, it's it's totally fine if you want to juggle everything. Yeah. But I'm just giving you advices on prioritization. <laughs> and I feel like I know my limit really well. Yeah, you do. For me, I'm like, let's go all in. <laughs> I feel like you'll be really good at poker. <laughs> really? All in. <laughs> no, like, I don't think I'll be good at poker. That's true. You'll lose a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but, I, yeah, for, like, life, I'm like, oh, no, I only have this much time. Like, let's go all in. Yeah. I've been like that since I was in second grade. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. But I feel like you should know your limit. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like I know your limit, too. <laughs> Why do I not know my own limits? It's so funny. But um, that's what's important. Yeah, that's really important. Well, thanks for the therapy session. Mm-hmm. Um, now I think I know my own limits. No, you <laughs> Just don't. kidding. So what I you actually need don't. to do is you need to know what makes you happy. Yeah, okay. I think like for that, though, I think I need to take a little break. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing actually, to do with Actually, I've been taking a lot of breaks recently. That's good. Yeah. With, like, um, because I used to, like, post, like, almost every day on Instagram and Mm -hmm. stuff, but now I kind of, like, don't. Wait, that's also really, that's, like, a really good point. You need to know what makes you happy, like, doing, like, in your career-wise, but also, like, what makes you happy living. Yeah. You know? So you can prioritize, like, living part two. So that's a really good um, break that you've been break (laughs) no not just break it's about like doing yeah what makes you happy while you're on while you're not doing anything yeah that's true I guess for me it's like uh uh, training (laughs) (laughs) I'm literally gonna die that's so funny (laughs) like going to the gym and stuff Mm -hmm. you know or like uh doing like uh strength training (laughs) (laughs) what I was going to say, like, looking up at the sky. Oh. You know? Yeah. You're, like, training. (laughs) You know, strength training. Going to the gym. Going all out. (laughs) Uh, We're talking to mom. Yeah. Yeah. I talk to, like, my mom, like, a lot, so. (laughs) Every day. (laughs) Almost every day. I think, like, that also, like, is good as a kid. Yeah. So, yeah, so knowing what makes you happy um, at work and Mm -hmm. off work. Yeah. And um, knowing your limits. Yeah. Because, like, when you're, like, a kind of, like, a workaholic, you're just kind of working all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like, you're, like, you kind of forget, like, what is really important or, like, what actually makes you super, like, excited with, like, butterflies in your stomach, Mm -hmm. right? So... But I do get butterflies in my stomach, like, when I'm thinking about dances and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. Really? Even though, like, the process of choreographing is so hard. Uh-huh. I some It's like a love-hate relationship for me. Uh-huh. At the same time, if I can, like, make it. So I think you should make one dance yeah. this season. I'll be making three. <laughs> Anyways, it's, uh-huh. a, it's a big challenge. So, yeah. well, good luck with three. <laughs> I will. And I hope I can, I'll, I will see you guys on YouTube as well. Yes. Okay. Okay. We, I think we're pretty mm-hmm. good, right? Well, thank you for the therapy session. You're Yoga. welcome. Um, uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. If you are new to our channel, we're like, we're growing pretty, like, nicely. Yeah, thank you so Thank you much. so much for listening. Um, and mm. we are also on Spotify, Amazon Music, um, Apple Music, or Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. 
um, on all like the platforms. So if you want to follow us there, we also have our little Instagram page as well. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys <laughs> can prioritize your life unlike me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day and a great life. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.